Now let's take a look at AutoCAD with the vault. AutoCAD does have to log in. You can see that I have a, a similar dialog box to the previous logins. The only difference here is really that there's an AutoCAD icon up here in the upper left hand corner. Criteria is always the same. Username, password, the server, and the vault I'm logging into. So I'm going to say OK to this. Inventor is very particular with where files are at on the C drive before they're checked into the vault because of all the file relationships. If I have a standalone AutoCAD file that does not have any relationships, any X references, or anything like that, I don't have to have it in my local workspace before I check it into the vault. But you'll see that it will do something very specific during the check-in process. So I'm going to open up a file and check into the vault. So I'm going to go up here to open. And I want to make sure that everybody's aware that I'm not going to my C local workspace. I'm going to a data set folder, uh, an AOTC vault folder, an AutoCAD folder there, DWG files, and I'm going to open up a file called floorplans.dwg. So again, this is not in my C local workspace. So here's the file. I have it uh, basically open. If I want to check it in the vault, I have a couple different methods. Again, I have a vault tab to my ribbon with a check-in button, just like Inventor does. AutoCAD also has a vault toolbar. I'm going to use the toolbar just uh, for uh, to be some to do something different here. So I'm going to use this toolbar. So I'll say check-in. The check-in box is now going to ask me one thing before it actually proceeds. It's going to say where does this go into the vault? If this file resided in my C local workspace I would not have to answer this. But because it resides outside that path I now have to define where I want that to go. And I'm going to create a new folder under designs for my AutoCAD file. So under designs here I'm going to say new folder. And what it usually does is it picks up the name of the folder that this file is sitting in currently wherever that is on my network or on my C drive. You can see that was called AutoCAD DWG files. So I'm going to say OK to this. So it's going to create that AutoCAD DWG files folder. Say OK here. Now I'll get my normal check-in dialog box. Very similar to what we saw in Inventor. It's just it's, a, it's an AutoCAD dialog box versus an Inventor one. I'm going to say added to vault for my comments. And I'll say OK. It says I need to save before I check in. That's fine. You'll see here now that I'm getting a message, you are now working on the vaulted copy of Floor Plans DWG that is located at Local Workspace Designs AutoCAD DWG files. So what Vault did here is it moved that file to my local workspace and then checked it out from there. So if I say OK to this, I am now working on that version. Uh, if I bounce over to Vault and do a refresh here, you see that under Designs I now have an AutoCAD DWG files with that file there. I'm going to go back to AutoCAD here and I'm going to basically make a change so we can see the workflow there. So I'm going to check the file out. Let's go update some properties here. And then I'm going to go to my Home tab and just draw a circle right about there and maybe another one right about there. So I'll save this file and I'll check it in. So I'm going to add a note here about added circles. Say OK. Then if I bounce back over to Vault, 
and do a refresh here. On the History tab, you'll see that I have two separate versions. And that's the basics of using AutoCAD with the Vault.